What's up YouTube? It's your girl Sophia from RSVP and I'm back with a long awaited video. I finally finished my fragrance update. I'm super stoked to show you guys my fragrance collection and my medicine cabinet because that's where I store them. So if you guys are interested in seeing my fragrance collection, stay tuned. I'm just going to jump into my three favorites right now. The first one is the new Bougeron um, Place Vendôme or Vendôme it's called. I'll put a notation under here with the name. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it correctly, but I'm showing you guys this fragrance first because it's one of my newest and the smell of this perfume guys is absolutely amazing. So that's the first fragrance. The second fragrance I want to show you guys is Alien Talisman and it actually comes with a little kickstand so that you can put the perfume bottle on a stand on your dresser. The third fragrance I want to show you guys is the Mugler Oriental Express which is part of the Les Exception collection. If you guys remember in the summertime I was gifted this fragrance and I got the opportunity to go over to the bay and have the whole Mugler experience with their fragrance rep by the name of Dude. So I'm so excited to finally show you guys that footage. For the rest of the video, I'm just going to sort of carry my camera through my medicine cabinet and talk to you about all the fragrances that I have. As far as links and notes and ingredients, I will put all the links to each fragrance in the description box for you guys. I figured as much. basically where I store all my perfumes and my skincare. Okay, so we're going to be focusing on the top two shelves and the bottom shelf is my husband's shelf. That's his little fragrance collection there. Oh, this makeup bag's super cute, you guys. So if you guys ever go to H&M, this is um, $14. It's like a nude patent makeup bag and it holds a lot. See, I have some stuff that I have to unpack in here. But um, yeah, super cute. I have a lot of skincare videos about Clarins, so I will leave those in the down bar. So this is My Burberry. This is the newest one. My Burberry fragrance. This is a more of a floral fragrance. This is the My Burberry that I got last year, and I love this one because if you look at the cover, it looks like the trench coat button. Um, so yeah, I'm really into the bottles and stuff like that. So that's my Burberry. These are the three or four Burberries that I wear the most. Um, Burberry Brit Rhythm for her. This is the newest one. Um, I also have original Burberry Brit Rhythm for her here. And then I also have a summer fragrance, which is the Burberry Brit Splash. And I love these. They're perfect for every day. The new um, Burberry Brit Rhythm for her is probably the one that I get the most compliments on. This one here. So, like, I'll be wearing this and somebody will always be like, what are you wearing? So that's a good one. I just keep it over here with my um, fragrance, uh, with all my Burberry makeup. And then back here is the Burberry body spray. So this one's super cute. I only have one hand, so I'll try and show you guys. But it looks like this. It's so nice, the packaging, even with the Burberry embossing on the bottle. You just refill these when they're done. And um, it smells really, really nice. So again, I'll have all the notes down there for you guys for later. But it's Burberry Body. The videos for all of these products are on my channel. So if you subscribe to me, you probably already saw them. But if it's your first time watching, I have like Burberry makeup videos and stuff like that. I'll try and link as many as I can for you guys. All my Jimmy Choo fragrances are here and the little samples that I usually get. This is my favorite Fendi. This is Fan de Fendi and it comes in a limited patent leather case. I love, 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 love this. These are the Nooks. Um, it's all purpose oil basically. It's multi-purpose dry oil for face, body, and hair. So they're like really, really sexy for a night out 
even when you're going to the beach that kind of thing these are freaking amazing this little section right here is all like special edition fragrances fragrances i don't have multiples of and it's a combination of i love the bottle or i love the fragrance or both this is um Ripetto. this is such a beautiful fragrance it's like really girly i love really girly fragrances the bottle is really really girly and the ribbon there's azara pour l i think this is azara's first female fragrance i love it because of the beautiful crystal bottle there's crystals like right under there if you could see that it smells really sweet in the back here i have swarovski and this is one of them and you could see the swarovski there there's a huge Swarovski crystal on top another really girly fragrance that's what the bottle looks like and I really like this fragrance I want to show you guys this fragrance too I don't wear it anymore it's more like um you know just like uh I love having it on my vanity because of the bottle this fragrance is really old it's called Zhivago 24k uh, when I first read about this fragrance, I was so obsessed with it because of the bottle, which looks like an iceberg, and it's really, really pointy. It has um, 24 karat gold flakes in it, so kind of cool, and it smells kind of strong. It's like one of those ones that you would kind of characterize as sort of an old lady fragrance because of how strong it is, but purely I bought this fragrance because of the bottle. It has this emerald on top and the shape. And um, it's just a real interesting fragrance to have in your collection. So I'm not sure if you can even get it anymore, which is why I never used this last bottle because I just wanted to keep it um, as like a decorate, a decor piece on my um, fragrance counter. Okay, so over here is my Mugler collection. Um, so I have five Mugler fragrances here. The first one is the original Angel fragrance. This is the refillable bottle. Um, everybody loves this fragrance. It's one of those scents that you smell on somebody after they've walked away or after they've left the elevator. So I love this fragrance. There's also the Angel de sucre which is the limited edition one that came out it's a little bit different the bottle this is the bigger size and it was a little bit different scent but it's also awesome um here i have alien which it's its 10th anniversary which i told you guys earlier um that's this one here and another sick fragrance that you smell really when somebody walks away alien extraordinaire and that's this one here so this one has a really nice smell too all the Muglers are amazing. I try to save them for going out on a special occasion because they're pretty fierce. And if you guys have tried any of these fragrances, then you guys know they're pretty amazing. They last all day and they just have a wicked unique smell to them. And if you haven't tried them, I would start off with Angel because Angel's pretty um, common and it's one of the Mugler fragrances that everyone pretty much knows. So you could start there. But if you want something that's a little bit more stronger and unique, then go with the Alien. Because the Alien, I think, has a really unique scent to it. That's Kashmirian wood. That's the this is white the one you mask. I smelled last, that's right? Yes, that's the white pepper. Okay, maybe I'll smell the other one. For the the second, you remember the very first, the first one? one? Yeah, yeah, I'll smell that one and see I which one. I see you <laughs> because you know what? We are. This, yeah. I think this is good. This is like this one to me is. So which sexy. one? This one. Okay. So sexy. That's your favorite. On the skin. Okay. Yeah, I I love it. Love it. Love it. We call it a jewel uh, collector box. Wow. Your bottle comes brand new empty. Wow. So your fragrance is not pre-filled. From your choice of the one you fall in love with, we fill it at the source for you here. Oh my God, This is beautiful. your bottle. It's very art deco. Yeah. That's the whole idea behind it. They wanted to get something that's very art deco. Never been touched. 
so which means that we have the uh, pleasure of filling up for you. And that's how your bottle fills. Oh my goodness, that is crazy! On your lid, we make sure it's secured tightly. The fragrance is in here. Um, your bottle is, you know, it's filled. It's it's sort of like naked, right? So mm -hmm. we have to like christen it. Okay. It needs its name, right? Yep. So we have to make sure it has its name. Because your fragrance is not complete without oh, its wow. special little tie. That gives I its, wondered about that. It's name. So now it's we're christening it. Oh, that's awesome. Oriental Express. I'll make sure it's nice and polished. Wow. If you want to display it at home, yeah. you can display it like so. Oh, wow. Or you can uh, have it laying. It's, it's your chop call, right? So that's how it goes. That's and awesome. we close it. And we have to put them back to close. And then there's a few other uh, fine touches that we do here because it's it's a real um, it's all too about service. Mm -hmm. uh, it's like I say, it's hokuto fashion, hokuto perfumery. So the service is elevated. Right. We make sure it's good service is good. It has its own little bag. bag. It goes in. <laughs> If you're buying something wow. as a gift for a customer, we don't necessarily would gift wrap this. It's in a beautiful gift bag, and this this is the part that's going to really blow you away. So now, this is a gift box basically, right? Mm -hmm. But it has no lid, so we need a lid for it. Oh my god! You know? Okay. So it has its own special lid, and the customer takes it away. That's their TOA. Oh my when goodness. We're so wow. you see that? They get one of each one. So you have Oriental, Shiprisim, Puja, Floral, and Musk. So you do have the Musk in there oh my God, for I your gift. Okay? And then it's presented like so, and the box is complete. Wow, that's awesome. And that's uh, this that was a lot of perfume, right? It wasn't a crazy amount of perfume because I don't keep my perfumes after they start to smell like alcohol. That's a good tip for you guys. If your fragrance starts to smell more like alcohol than the actual perfume, it's time to toss them. So I usually don't keep any of my fragrances if they're old unless it's because of the bottle. You'll see that all of my fragrances were down to about here and that's because I pretty much wear all of them pretty much all the time. I like to really change it up with my fragrance. I don't like to wear one perfume. It all depends on how this Gemini's feeling when she wakes up. So it's good to have a good variety of perfumes that will help change your mood each day. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this perfume collection video. Oh my god, let me know what some of your favorite perfumes are and if you've tried any of the ones I showed in this video. Also, don't forget to like and share this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I post lots of pictures pretty much every day about fashion, beauty, and hair. Um, so thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.